Today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different because now we have a page inside the website we've been building that has somewhat of a complete page inside of it. And a very important step that you have to do anytime you create any sort of website is you have to validate your website. And just to say it again, it's, it's a very important step. <laughs> to validate your website. Um, a lot of people tend to skip over this part here because it, it's not, you know, building your website. So this is, you know, not as exciting to do, uh, but this is something that is very important to do whenever you want to build a website, especially if you want to live off of making websites to other people. So essentially when it comes to validating your website, uh, it basically means that you take your website and you have it tested by a online machine in order to see if there's any sort of inconsistencies or something that you shouldn't be doing inside your HTML. And then it will tell you what is wrong and how you can fix it. And the website you can check this in is a website called validator.w3.org, which is a website that we used even back when I started multimedia design back in 2012. So this is not a new website. This has been a stable for a very long time and you have to make sure you use this one in order to test out your website. Now there's a couple of ways you can test your website. So if you already have your website online, you can just paste the URL of that particular page that you want to test out and you can paste it inside the address in here where it says validate by URI. But in our case, since we still have the website offline on our computer, we can actually upload a file by validate by file upload and just choose a document we want to insert in here and test out. You're not gonna be pasting any CSS files in here since this is going to be markup validation like it says up here in the title. And as we know, HTML is hypertext markup language. So it is HTML that we're testing out here to make sure that everything is like it's supposed to be. Again, if this throws any sort of errors when you test it, it means that search engines are not gonna be as happy about your website. So it is important that we do this. I think I've said that a couple of times now, but it is very important that you validate your website. So what I want to do here is I want to click choose file, and then I want to go inside where we have our website. So in my case, it's inside this folder here, and I want to select my index page that we've been creating up until now. So we have everything from top to bottom. So now it's time to test out if we have any sort of errors, which I haven't tested yet. So let's hope there's no errors. Uh, so if I were to insert this index file and say check, we can go ahead and run this thing that is going to tell us if there's any sort of errors or warnings. In this case here, we can see it says document checking completed, no errors or warnings to show. Yes, <laughs> we created a awesome website in this course so far. Um, now, if you want to know a little bit more about what exactly we're checking for here, you can of course go back inside the validator and at the bottom here it says markup validity and you can click a link. So if we were to open this up here, it describes a little bit about what exactly this one does. Uh, basically, this is not going to give you any sort of, it's not gonna check for everything. It's gonna check for things such as syntax, you know, to make sure that the markup is set up correctly inside your documents. Uh, but for example, if I were to go inside my file here and go down and find a H1 tag, copy it, paste it down below. So now we have two H1 tags, which I did say is a no-no. Uh, it's not gonna say anything specifically about this because there's no syntax error so to speak. Search engines are not really too happy about this, but it's not really an error in that sort of sense. So if I were to go back inside the website, and let's actually go ahead and try out the last one over here that says validate by direct input, which basically means that we can copy paste all the HTML we have in here. So I can copy all of it, paste it in here, and then I can actually just check it. And as you can see, it says document checking completed, no errors or warnings to show. Well, <laughs> we do have two H1 tags, but it's not gonna show that as an error, because like I said, it's not really seen as a syntax error. So there are of course certain things that you have to check for manually that this validator is not gonna check for, but it is still very important that you check using a validator in case there's any sort of syntax errors inside your website. I just realized you can't see it. There you go. <laughs> Checking completed. So do yourself a favor, uh, go ahead and save this website inside a bookmark or something so you can find it very quickly because you will be visiting this page quite often whenever you make any sort of page inside your website. Uh, so it can sort of check for errors and that kind of thing that you might have overseen or overlooked when it comes to your own HTML. So with that said, uh, this is going to be a very short episode. We just needed to talk a bit about how to validate websites using this particular tool here. Um, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.